build microservices, they said. It will be fun, they said. So if you uh, split down a big monolithic system into separate microservices, uh, it has a lot of advantages. So you will get a lot of flexibility and independence, a speed of development and deployments and so on. But it comes with a cost. So the cost is integration. You will need to build up a lot of interfaces. And for each of the interfaces, uh, choose a protocol like TCP, HTTP, REST and so on. Choose a data format. Do you use ZSV, binary, whatever, a data schema. And you have to learn about initial loads and all this stuff. So um, at this point, let's have a short introduction to Kafka. So uh, Kafka is a distributed fault tolerant messaging system. It's scalable. So you can really um, serve millions of messages per second. And it has a very high performance with a latency smaller than 10 milliseconds. So you can really achieve real time streaming with, with Kafka. So Kafka allows you to decouple your microservices uh, with a central messaging bus, so to say. And um, the applications you connect to Kafka can act as producers or consumers to certain topics. So a topic, so to say, is a particular stream of data um, and applications can consume, so read data out of this topic or act as a producer and, and write messages or data into these topics. So what we'll do in this series is um, we'll create one Kafka topic called bus data. We'll implement three producers in Python. So acting basically as three different buses who actually produce their actual um, geographic location and write this into a Kafka topic. And we'll implement one consumer with leaflet.js, so um, a web page, a UI, which consumes this data and displays it on a map in real time. So have fun.